Hey YouTube, Cody94 here um, with uh, Cody's Workshop and uh, I just want to answer some uh, questions today. Um, excuse me if I seem a little tired. It's uh, We're going to say earlier than I wanted to be up today. But uh, got a cup of mocha, waking up a little bit still. But we're going to answer some uh, questions I see very commonly with the uh, 3018 uh, Pro CNC. Um, a common thing I see is people asking, well, how do I export um, G code from uh, this program and that program? How do I import it to Candle? How do I import it to Universal G Code Sender? Um, so uh, today I'm going to do a video showing how to um, export your code from. Um, whether it's Easel, Carbide Create, or Fusion 360. Those are the three programs I use. I know how to use Fusion 360, not um, a little less familiar with, but I, I can I can kind of get by with it. I know that better. I know the design side very well. The manufacturing side, I'm a little I get a little confused with, but I know enough to export the G code and then also load it into candle and or um, universal g-code sender so um, I have programs set up behind me we're gonna jump over to the computer and we're going to uh, show you how to export all these I'm also going to show how candle works with the CNC and how it works um, how um, universal g-code sender works with the CNC um, so I'm going to forewarn you that um, I'm going to be using my phone as a webcam kind of deal to show both my screen and the CNC when I'm trying to control the machine. Um, I'm just going to uh, just warn you there's going to be a delay. Um, the way my phone works with that, um, with the computer, it, it creates this weird delay effect. So. Uh, but I will let you know it is relatively a quick response normally. So uh, let's uh, hop into this and get uh, right into it. Hello, and um, we're at the computer now. I'm going to apologize if I sound slightly irritated, annoyed, or tired. Um, this is my second time recording this uh, because I sat down the day after filming the intro, the morning after, so I could edit the video that I recorded on my computer to find out that OBS, um, I didn't set it to output to the right format. So here I am again this morning. Um, there were some issues with the video yesterday, so I'm okay with re-recording it. There's still going to be an issue with importing one software to one software but we'll get into that point when we get to that point, and I'll explain what's going on. So we are going to start with exporting programs from the various softwares, and we are going to start with Easel. So Easel is a uh, browser-based um, program. If you are unfamiliar with it, it has a very uh, simplistic interface, drag and drop with a lot of stuff. You can uh, import icons. Um, you can import SVGs, which that's what this is here. Um, the one thing I'm not a fan of is, um, I want to show you here, is you see how you can actually see my lines, you can see my logo here. Well, I don't want it to cut a half inch deep. I want it to cut like, I don't know, a sixteenth. So, 0, .0 uh, we'll say 0 0.06 for simplicity. And um, you now can't really see the lines. It's there, but it's very faint. So, but... That is my main complaint with Easel. Um, also, they tend to lock you out of a lot of stuff like V carving and using V bits. So I don't, just I, I'm not a fan of it. But it's here if someone wants to use it. That's how I look at it. Now then, this here is all set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is selected, make sure it's going all to the right depth, and then I'm going to come up to Machine. I'm going to click Advanced, and I'm going to click Generate G-Code. Now this takes a second. Uh, 
I feel like it's taking longer than yesterday. All right, there we go. And then we can click Export G-Code. And now I'm going to, all the files have already been saved once, so I'm just going to overwrite the files um, just so you can see that I'm making the files. So we're going to call this Easel KWS logo. Just gonna save that. Do I want to replace it? Yes. So we're going to replace it. Um, you can name it whatever you want. That's just, I, like I said, this is my second time recording this. Um, okay, so that is Easel, and that's how you export from Easel. Now we're going to move on to Carbide Create. Now Carbide Create, I have uh, almost exact uh, thing set up. So, and it's kind of also a uh, drag and drop a lot of stuff uh, in uh, Carbide Create. Very simple to use. Um, very simplistic interface. Uh, user, very user friendly. I prefer this much over um, Easel, in my opinion. They also do not lock you out of any tooling, um, which is nice. Um, note this if you had, didn't notice, like uh, the Easel demonstration, these are not. Uh, tutorials on how to draw in these programs. I'm just showing you how to export and import into um, another program. So um, now a thing I want to mention with Easel is you can actually control your machine from Easel um, if you set it up. I choose not to because I have poor internet connection down in my basement. You can see down here I have four bars of Wi-Fi and that's just plain iffy. You can set a machine up in, in the machines tab and, you know, have it run, but I don't, I don't do that. I export. Now, Carbide Create, you cannot uh, run from the program. You have to, you have to export this um, to and run it in another program. Um, it was designed to be run in um, Carbide Motion. Uh, which is for Carbide 3D's uh, Shapeoko machines and their Nomad um, machine. So, but to export it, you're going to come over once you have everything selected for the tool, tool path, which I just have a basic tool path here. I have everything everything selected for that tool path. I'm going to come down. I want to click Save G Code. Now I want to save this as Carbide KWS logo. All right. And I'm going to save it. Okay. And that's how you export in Carbide. Now, Fusion 360 is the last program I'm going to go over today. And pretty much you have, you will model everything in Fusion. It's a 3D modeling software. So you can model it in the model tab. And then once you want to cut it on the CNC, you go to manufacture. And you have all these various settings and tools and, you know, setting up your the size of your work and everything. Um, I have all that already kind of preset. But so say let's say you do a toolpath. And I did one for this little pocket here. So I want to generate the G-code for this toolpath. So we're going to come up. And we're going to click pro post process is what you want to click. So you're going to click that. Um, ignore that. You're going to want to change whatever this is to make sure it's set to Gerbil, um, G R B L. Um, and then the output you're going to want for this, is you for the output folder, you set it to wherever you want to save the NC file. In my case, it's desktop NC files. And here is the number. We're going to say Fusion test. I don't I think I have one in there already called that. We're going to call it three for the sake of the video so it doesn't have to overwrite anything. And we're going to click post. So it's going to go through. Um, and I'm actually, I changed my mind. I'm just going to call it fusion test. I forgot that it pops up a little window. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay. So then it's going to pop up this window here. Once it pops up. And it shows you the full code. I don't care about this. So I'm going to X out of that. And now we're going to move on to the um, control softwares. So we're going to start up Candle. 
and I'm going to insert a little video here. Nope, sorry. Um, I'm going to apologize. There's a little uh, black bar. It looks like it's flashing on my screen. Um, but we're going to import these uh, programs now into Candle. Uh, just to show, we're going to make sure that I have it set to the right COM port. Refresh, it is on COM7. Um, and you can see the CNC moves. Um, there is a little delay there, but that is just because of how I'm making the video. So uh, we're going to click open. All right, I'm going to click the carbide. We'll do carbide first. Or actually, we'll do easel first. We'll do this all in order. Easel. And you can see here it shows up, you know, doing all the carving in easel. So there is the easel program. No issues. Um, so let's go to, and it's the same thing for all of them, pretty much. Carbide. We open up carbide. I get the same pretty much the same thing. All right, and we're going to click open for the fusion test. And this here is what we get. This is that pocket that we had. So you can see everything opens fine. Um, so everything works with candle, no problem. So that is uh, importing, exporting to candle. Um, this, is, this is not a tutorial on using candle, but I do want to show you that these programs at least do work with the CNC by moving the CNC around. Here, we'll move the, the bed back so you can see that. But, um, so let's move on. Now that we're done with this, let's move on to uh, open uh, G-Code, or Universal G-Code Center. I was having an issue with this yesterday. We'll see if I'm still having the same issue. If I am, I will take you to the... Um, I started a form post on Carbide 3D's uh, forms to get help. Um, we'll see if I still have that issue. So this here is a little bit different. So I know I am on COM7. Um, I have everything set to there. I, you have to click connect. So now the machine is connected. And here you can set up the, the step uh, steps uh, for each, the X, Y steps, the Z steps, and the feed rate. And you can see this works with my CNC. No problems. So let's go to open files. You can just click browse up here. I want to go with easel. Open. And you see no issues. I got it. That worked fine. Alright, so we're going to now go to Fusion Test. We're going to open that. And you see that opens the Fusion path. No problems. Um, and then we're going to try this today. And this is the Carbide, the Carbide logo. And this was the issue I was having yesterday. The carbide logo opens nothing for me personally. So I put a uh, post on the carbide forms. Um, let me turn this off here. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. Turn that off. And we're going to go over to the carbide forms real quick. So... This issue I'm having, I kind of described that I I was kind of doing the same, similar programs in the three different programs, um, and I was having issues with this. Uh, one guy, he asked me to upload the file um, that I was trying to load, which was the carbide file. I uploaded that last night. Um, a guy responded back telling me that it worked just fine for him. He got that to load into car into uh, Universal G Code Center, no issues on his Windows laptop. I told him I was using Windows, um, and it looks like he gave me a response back that I have to look into. So if you give me one moment, I can look into this and see if we can get it to work. So one moment. 
Okay, so upon further investigation of his post, this is something that's going to take me a little bit actually to look into and figure out, and it's more time than I have uh, this morning to uh, take care of. Um, so I will do a part two once I figure out how to get Universal G Code Sender to work with um, Carbide Create. So I'm going to do the part two with that, and there's another software that I have just become aware of today that I want to look into. Um, I think I heard of it before. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, I saw it on the Facebook group, but um, never looked into it. But I do want to look into it for the channel. That way I can make sure I cover all my bases. So there is going to be a part two to this. It might be a little bit shorter. Um and it's going to hopefully cover that new software and hopefully cover getting this issue fixed. I am sorry to the one person that specifically asked for how to do this. Um, you can try doing what I did and see if it works because it obviously the file worked for this guy. He has it open right here. Um, it just didn't work for me. So... Feel free to try that. If it doesn't work, let me know in the comment section, and I will do my best to figure it out. Um, for me, this isn't an issue. I can use Candle um, or another software. I don't mind. So um, for those who aren't aware, there is a Facebook group for the 3018 CNC, um, which is the CNC I use and have. Um, also... Oops, excuse me, sorry. I uh, just started a Discord group yesterday. I will actually open that up right here. I just started a Discord group yesterday. I posted the video yesterday. Um, hobby CNCs, um, feel free to come join. Check it out. It is here to um, help other hobby CNCists, uh, CNC machinists. I'm sorry. Uh, with software issues, hardware issues, just uh, things they might be having trouble with. Maybe, you know, just general chat, sharing projects, you know, bouncing ideas off one another, bouncing information off one another, you know. I am, it is a new Discord, so I am still growing the channels, trying to figure out how to organize it, trying to figure out the best way to um, get this running for everyone. But it does need members to run efficiently. So please, if you are interested in joining a Discord group for hobby CNC machining, I will leave a link below. Come check it out. Come join. I will see you guys there. Uh, so in the meantime, if you like the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you want more content and you want to stay tuned for part three or part two, my bad. Um, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.